Ja. Hallo, hier ist Delta Oscar 2, Sierra Yankee Delta. Hallo, everybody. Hier ist Delta Oscar 2, Sugar Yankee Delta, mit einem anderen Video. Ähm, heute haben wir den 8. Oktober 2016. Heute ist der 8. Oktober 2016. Und wir haben heute einen Schulkontakt ähm, mit einer Schule in den USA, in Ohio, die Ice Base in Cincinnati. So, uh, today we have a school contact with the ISS, uh, uh, with a school in the US, um, uh, the Ice Base uh, School in uh, Cincinnati in Ohio. Um, this is going to be a telebridge connection via an amateur radio station in Italy, Italy Kilo One Sierra Lima Delta. Diese Funkverbindung wird eine Telebridge-Verbindung sein über eine Amateurfunkstation in Italien mit äh, Italy Kilo 1 Sierra Lima Delta. So, wir starten bei 230 Grad. We are going to start at 230 degree this direction and uh, the end will be at uh, 75 degree around this direction. Also wir starten bei 230 Grad und enden hier so bei 75 Grad. Uh, maximum elevation is going to be 30, uh, 38 uh, degrees. Und die maximale Elevation wird ähm, 38 Grad sein. So, wir starten hier bei 145. Oh, the ISS sendet schon. Oh, the ISS is already... Komm mal näher hier hin. Ich habe jetzt mal die Rauschsperre drin. I have just put the squelch. I think I want to go visit the Maldives. We can see beautiful beaches and crystal clear ocean water from there. Over. So we can't hear the, uh, the questions from the pupils. Wir können nicht die Fragen hey, der Schüler hören. Sometimes lunch is my favorite part of the day. But I also love any chance I get to look at the planet or to do science experiments. Over. So, wir sind jetzt gerade bei 7 Grad Elevation. We are just at 7 degree of elevation. Hey, that's a great question. And we had some mice up here during our last SpaceX mission. We took care of them by feeding them every day and giving them water and making sure that they were safe and happy on the space station. Over. And the signal is uh, very strong like always. Very, very strong. Also das Signal ist... hier so das Handy mitsehen. So she is just coming around so you can see the uh, smartphone as well where I have the details. Uh, the Hi, sun is making trouble. School, I actually wanted to be a biologist first and so that's what I studied in college. I did molecular biology and virology and I always wanted to be an astronaut but I didn't think it was realistic. I took a chance and I applied anyway. Over. Hey Jessica. Well, I got my bachelor's degree in molecular biology and my PhD in cancer biology. And then I was a researcher at MIT. After that is when I applied to NASA and I had seven years of training before I got a chance to fly in space. Over. Film mal eben die Katze. Just uh, get the get the cat, our amateur radio cat. She's here as well to listen to it.
Now we have uh, 38 degrees, which is the maximum. Jetzt haben wir 38 Grad uh, Elevation, das ist Maximum. That is a great question, because some of the most interesting scientific findings happen from failed experiments or unexpected results. Just yesterday, I was testing a fluid container of 20 liters of fluid and seeing how it moved around inside of a tank. And it behaved completely different in microgravity than I thought. So with no gravity to carry it to the bottom of the tank, it coats the tank with some motion and settles in different areas of the tank with other motion. Yeah. Over. Okay. Let's look. Let's go somewhere in there. So we are just trying to get the, <laughs> the smartphone. I'd rather be in space anytime. Over. Noch near. Near, 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 near. So. So we get it. Yeah. Hi there. I think spacewalking was the hardest thing we've done so far, but we have a lot of support from the ground. And the way I responded to it was by knowing that I had good training and that would carry me through. Over. We get interference. Yeah, it feels like floating in a pool. So anytime you guys are swimming, maybe close your eyes, plug your nose, and see what it feels like underwater. And that's what the space station is like, just without the water. Come on, here, then. This is in tone better. So if you just come to the right side, then the sound is better, probably. Yeah, we did two spacewalks at the beginning of our mission. And it feels amazing because you get a chance to see the planet through your helmet with no other structure around you. So you feel like you're flying at the top of the world. Over. is all the work that we're doing on the International Space Station right now to understand what we need to know for human beings to leave low Earth orbit. I think in terms of scientific discoveries, we're actually going to start to get a lot of results from all of the cellular and the molecular biology. And we're going to make some fundamental discoveries about human beings and about cells based on what happens to them in microgravity. Over. So, wir haben jetzt äh, 84 Grad äh, und 10 Grad Elevation. It's almost the end of the... It's almost the end of the ISS uh, school contact, but we still have uh, around two minutes to go. Also zwei Minuten haben wir ungefähr noch. Wir sind jetzt... I got so excited this last week about these tank experiments.
experiments I was telling you guys about. I've never seen those before on board and they were amazing. Film mal eben in die Richtung. So we are going to have uh, trees in front so uh, soon the contact will be finished for me. Ja, jetzt kriegen wir schon langsam hier Interferenzen. So now we get already interferences. Wir haben noch 4 Grad Elevation, 4 degrees of elevation. I'm going to open the I think it's the end. Yeah. Okay, this was the um, the ISS uh, contact with the with the, the school contact with the ice base school in uh, Cincinnati in Ohio in the US. So, das war der ISS uh, Schulkontakt mit der Ice Base Schule in Cincinnati in Ohio in den USA. Okay, hier war Delta Oscar 2 Sierra Yankee Delta. This was Delta Oscar 2 Sierra Yankee Delta. Goodbye and see you soon. See you next time. Bye bye. Tschüss und auf Wiedersehen.